Hey guys and welcome to this new video and in this video we are going to discuss about what is multidex in android. So this video is a part of the series android interview questions and answer and you can find the playlist link in the description below. This is a very good topic to understand not just from the interview perspective but also from the knowledge perspective. So I will highly recommend you to learn these kind of topics from knowledge perspective not just from the interview perspective because these things when you know in depth is going to help you during your project building. Let's begin. So before jumping into the multidex, we should have a basic understanding of what is dex file in Android. Basically we all Android developers write the code in Kotlin or Java. But whenever we build the APK, those Kotlin or the Java code get converted into byte code. And those byte code gets stored inside a dex file and whenever you try to drag and drop the apk so basically whenever you analyze the apk you will see that there are dex files and it is named as classes.dex so you can check classes.dex classes2.dex something like that so in our apk we can have n number of dex files 1 2 3 4 5 and so on that number depends on the number of methods present in our code base or the libraries or the framework that you have used to build the project. So that will depend on the number of methods that we will learn today. Here we should note that one dex file can have maximum of 64k method and here k is kilo which is 1024 not 1000. So 64k will come out 65536, 65536. And if we are going to create an APK from the project, if we are going to have more than 64k methods, so in that case, it will create more than one dex file. And you can just check it by dragging and dropping the APK in your Android Studio. So, so basically we can analyze the APK and check how many DEX files are present in our APK. So now you know how to check the number of DEX file in an APK. So basically you just have to drag and drop the APK in your Android Studio. That's it. There you can see everything. Very important. What APK you are going to use for analyzing? You should always go for the APK in which you have applied the ProGuard or the R8 because it will apply the code shrinking and it will remove the unused methods. So you will have the actual number of methods which will actually go in the production because in production you will always apply the ProGuard or the R8, right? So that is why it becomes very important to what APK you are going to analyze. So always analyze the APK in, in which you have the ProGuard applied. If your app has more than one DEX file, it means that we can call it as multi-dex and that is what we are learning today. So the next question is how can we enable the multi-dex in our application? If your minimum SDK is 21 or higher than that, you don't have to do anything. It will be enabled by default. But in case your minimum SDK is less than 21, you will have to follow some steps to enable the multi-dex. And for that, I will always recommend the Android official documentation so that you can follow the steps and enable it. So the thing is that if the multidex needs to be enabled and you haven't enabled it, in that case, you will see these types of error on the screen. So basically it will show you that 64K methods is reached. Now let's discuss about the disadvantages of using the multidex in our Android applications. I will say here that although we do have some disadvantages, but we should not restrict ourselves from using the multidex in our Android application and we will come to that point in this video. First disadvantage, it can increase the app startup time. Why? Because it has to load more than one dex file. That is why it can increase the app startup time. But for that also we do have various solutions which we can implement to again decrease the app startup time. So that is why I will recommend do not hesitate to use the multidex in your Android application if required. Second disadvantage, sometimes we might face no class dev found error. So it can come whenever you start the application. So for that also 
we do have some solutions which we can implement to eradicate these kinds of error. So first of all, let's understand why this error comes. No class def found error, right? So whenever you launch the application, the main application class gets loaded. So for example, this class has a reference of five different classes. So four classes are present in your first dex file and fifth class is present in your secondary dex file, which is the second, third or fourth. And first one we are calling it as a primary dex file. So in that case, whenever you launch the application, your primary dex file first gets loaded, right? So whenever you launch the application, it will not have the access to the fifth class. So in that case, it might create an issue and that it will throw an error, no class def found error. So what is the solution for that? We have a solution in which we can force these classes to be present inside the primary dex file. And for that, we can write a rule and we can define that these classes must be present inside the primary dex file. And that is how you can eradicate these kind of errors. So now the final note on disadvantages. So I will say that we should not overthink on using the multi dex in our Android application because nowadays our app requires so many third party libraries to be used because of various use cases. And for that, we need to use those third party libraries and it will definitely increase our number of methods. So we should not hesitate at all. We should use it and also because we can eradicate those types of error or the performance issue by working upon it, right? So we should not hesitate at all while using the multi -dex. One last point, when should you avoid it, right? So for that, there are various use cases, but again, I will remind you, you should not hesitate to enable the multi -dex whenever you need it actually. But there are some cases where we can avoid it. So for example, we have an Android application in which we have two DEX files. First DEX file is having 64K method and second is having only 500. So in that case, what we can do, we can try to remove extra 500 methods by working upon it. For example, we can check what libraries we do not need and also what are the methods that can be removed or by using the ProGuard or the R8. So in that case, we can work upon it and remove those extra 500 methods so that we can have only one DEX file. But for example, we have the use case like we have two DEX file in one we have 64K and in the another one we have 35K. So in that case, you can't do anything, right? Even though you start working on, you can't remove 35K extra method. So for that, just enable it and start using the multi -dex. So this was all about multi -dex in Android application. And I'm sure that you have learned a lot from this video. So please like, share and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video.